Hi, my name is Paul and welcome to Emirates First Class. Yes, this is another YouTube review of Emirates First and my third video, although this time it's going to be slightly different as it's my first long haul flight with Emirates and I'm departing from the flagship port, Dubai International Airport. The journey began with a complimentary limousine transfer from a hotel, which in this case was the new Mercedes E-Class. I was dropped off at the premium terminal, which is open to passengers traveling in first and business class and those with Emirates status. It's massive and was completely empty so I dropped off my bags and got through security in a matter of minutes. Then it was straight up to the Emirates flagship first class lounge. I was flying from Concourse B where the first class lounge is essentially an entire level above the main terminal. While it's massive, it's smaller than the lounge over on Concourse A. It's quite impressive and there's heaps of space and places to settle down and await your flight. I booked a 15 minute massage and then visited the restaurant where there's an a la carte menu or if you prefer, a buffet. There's also a bar and all throughout the lounge staff will approach you and ask you if they can get a drink for you. The service was great and probably the best I've ever experienced at an airport lounge. There's multiple self-serve options throughout the lounge and here's a useful feature that I haven't seen before. Here you're able to charge your devices and lock them away. Otherwise you usually have to sit near the charging station to ensure that your device doesn't go walkies. Boarding happened from right near the lounge where you catch a lift and walk directly onto the aero bridge. Unlike when flying British Airways, you don't need to join a queue of thousands before boarding. In fact, boarding was done incredibly well and seemingly just prior to departure as the aero bridge withdrew as we all entered in a few small groups. How are you today? Very well, thank you. Thanks. My name's Aaron. Hi, Aaron. Uh, the Emirates A380 first class cabin consists of 14 suites, with mine, 4A, being the first on the left. I chose this seat because you can still see the engines, which I'd like to know are still turned on. I'll go through the seat in more detail shortly as the champagne, Arabic coffee and dates arrived and then we departed. Sorry to interrupt my own sound and light show, but there's another 14 hours of flying to go. As the flight left at 2am, I decided to have a short supper before having a nap. I'll quickly go through the Emirates amenity kit, which is pretty impressive. They include some of the best pyjamas I've had in the sky, and I'll be modelling them later, which is something to look forward to. After watching a little telly, it was time to turn it in for the night and a flight attendant kindly converted my seat into a bed. The doors were closed and I was off to study my eyelids in one of the comfiest beds in the sky.
Around six hours later, I woke up and it was time for breakfast. Emirates offer a dine on demand service where you can eat whatever you want, whenever you want, up until about 1.5 hours before landing where the hot food service stops. Here's the menus, which you can pause the video for a closer look. After delicious breakfast, it was time to check out this first class suite in more detail. On the outside is a door which accesses the closet where you can keep your clothes crease free after you pop into your pyjamas. Now let's step inside the suite and on the aisle side is a reading lamp and an air vent. I find most modern aircrafts far too warm inside and these vents are the best I've experienced with a strong flow of air. On the window side is heaps of storage space, both this open area and inside this little cubby hole. If we continue working our way around, we'll find a touch screen, which I'll look at in more detail later, and a call bell and the window shade controls. Hidden in the armrest is another control screen, which again I'll look at shortly. Here's more hidden storage cubby holes, and what I recall was an amazing feature when it was launched, a pop-up bar. Here's the rather large fold-out table, and next to that are the controls to open and close the doors. If we flip back onto the other side, we'll find two USB ports and a universal power plug, although I found a significant design flaw where you can't fit in the charger for a MacBook, which I figure is a reasonably common computer. Here's more storage space at your feet. Up from there is a light, and then there's a basket of goodies. The flight attendants will top these up during the flight after you've eaten from them. Below that is a writer's kit, which includes a pen, envelopes, and paper. And next to that is a pop-up vanity mirror and what I believe are beauty products, which I suppose I'll be giving to my sister-in-law. Next, we'll explore the controller that lives in the armrest. It's primarily used to control the in-flight entertainment. While the larger screen above that, which is wireless, also controls the in-flight entertainment, it also includes the chair movements and multiple other features. I must admit that I used it mostly to control the TV screen, as the smaller controllers seem too small for my fat fingers. And above that is a larger touch screen that controls most of the suite, including the seat and the in-flight entertainment.
Before we took off, one of the flight attendants asked me if I wanted to book a shower. They're very accommodating and I ended up showering two hours earlier than booked as I woke up ahead of plan. There's two of these shower suites at the front of the aircraft and both contain toilets as well. They're fully stocked with amenities, towels and a hairdryer. Now you only have five minutes of water and it won't start until you close the door. Another tip I have is that because the floor is heated and you really do feel the warmth, lay the towel out flat on the floor before you jump in the shower so that it's nice and warm when you get out. Just outside the shower suite is a waterfall with hot tea kindly provided by the crew. During other stages of the flight, this is the first class bar where some rather exotic drinks are on display. Yeah, these doors could keep me entertained for days, or at least a 14 hour flight. Anyway, I had a plate of fruit salad and then got some work done. Those in economy get two hours of free internet while it's free for the entire flight in business and first class. Just be aware that if you want more than two hours you need to organise this ahead of time on the Emirates website. Now I should point out that at the back of the plane is a proper bar which is shared with business class passengers. As I'm incredibly awkward in bars in general, I return to my seat to drink alone, like most weekends. It was time for more fruit salad, a glass of port and to enjoy the setting sun before we prepared for landing into Sydney. So to summarise, of course it was an amazing flight, the seat is great and incredibly private, the staff are really friendly and no request was too much for them. The in-flight entertainment screen is massive and of good quality, although the content was limited so thankfully I had some movies on my laptop. Is there a particularly good suite to pick? Maybe there was some galley noise in 4A, but because the toilets and showers were at the front, you get to avoid all of the traffic walking forward. You're incredibly lucky and privileged to be in any seat up the front. Definitely make sure that you book the free internet online before your flight, otherwise you're stuck with two hours. Also, when you have a shower, start warming the towels on the floor as soon as you walk in, so that they're brought up to temperature by the time you need them. The Airbus A380 is an incredibly comfortable aircraft and they're always a joy to fly. We arrived on time and there was a complimentary chauffeur service waiting for me in Sydney. In this case, I lucked in and got an Audi A8 for the drive home, which you'll see shortly. Anyway, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to click the like button and subscribe for more similar videos. Thanks for watching.